Welcome back. In the previous part, we fell asleep and when we awoke, Paimon was missing. I guess it's time for us to go search for her. Halt! What do you think you're doing? Duh! You startled me, sir! This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone! Chill, mate. Chill. What are you wearing? Okay. Whoa, whoa. Just calm down. I'm only here to look for my traveling companion. Your travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, his chest, like what he's got in his chest, that starish shape, we are very familiar with that. But his eyes, it's definitely the diamond shape, isn't it? Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. <laughs> that much I saw with my own eyes. I thought so. Still, I don't know if I can trust this person's word just yet. Uh, so you mean to say that, uh, you were nearby last night? What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Triple dot. There's something strange about this person. I need to find out what he's hiding. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't think I'll have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. Could I stay inside? <sighs> if you must. Suit yourself. <laughs> I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. I'm just trying to place whether or not like we've traveled back in time or something like that. Because he's definitely from Carnria. And his getup is very familiar, very reminiscent of certain things we've seen before. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> I'm no villain, but I will not pretend to be a saint. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. May I join you? Uh, I was out of here all night. I'm quite cold. You... Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? This guy is very strange. It, it's like he's very... angry, but very nice and helpful at the same time. Plus, what do you mean by overreacting to... what? What? Relax, I, I, I've been around. It, it takes a lot to phase me. Come on, then. Hmm. Okay, let's head inside. It looks normal. Oh! That was my reaction. A hilly churl? Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> You're trying to turn them back, aren't you? How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a, a finger on him. Just, just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're, you're from Conria, aren't you? You only just noticed. Huh? You know Conria? Who are you, exactly? And how do you know I'm from Conria? The eyes. I've met others from Conria. Again, it's like, it's... 
It's it, it clothes, yes, but it it's the eyes at this point. What they've mentioned before, it's the eyes. The eyes. <sighs> Do you worship a god, traveler? This guy sounds a bit like G-Man. Ah, Mr. Freeman. I follow no god. In fact, I count some of them as my foes. Well, say hey, friends. Friends. Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right, well, uh, um, my name is Ida. And you are correct. I was once Conrian. Uh, oh, uh, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. Isn't that right, Mr. Freeman? Uh, spoken like a true Conrian. That may be... But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. Uh, what exactly is the curse of immortality? The curse? <laughs> it was... A little gift given to the people of Conrea by those vile gods. We lost our home, our loved ones, everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. So Ide is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So why did some people turn to Hillichels while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because... Although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others, too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the Cataclysm came, we pure-blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Yeah, it is really sort of like... Why did they unleash these on uh, this on those guys? Like, really? Like... That's a hell of a curse. Hell of a curse. So, um, who is this Hillichol to you? He is Kari Bear. My illegitimate son. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but... Oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. And then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. And after all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What happened to his mother? She was... 
we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Cory Bear. What do you plan to do now? What were you planning to do around here? It, it's got to be he's trying to break the curse. Not for himself, but for his son. Ah, oh, yes, I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if, if you're uh, so inclined. I do feel for him. I do feel for him. Again, it's like, that's a hell of a curse. That little scarf. I assume a scarf, anyway, wrapped around his um, arm there. Right, where did he wander off to? There he is. I could get used to this. What, this whole thing? Over here. A crafting bench? Uh, what are you going to use this for? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibar here to Sumeru. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. But will it be a permanent thing? Need more details. Uh, recover his clarity of mind? When we were in the chasm, Dane said that the curse could not be undone. Is recovery really possible? I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> Where did you hear of this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> From the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the seven to work. I am, I, I will say, like, the, the, vo the voice work. I do like the little touches here and there to add the, well, the mania to his own voice there in what he's doing. It's, it's like he's too far gone in his own madness. But he's still sane at the same time. There's a nice sort of like middle ground that's happening here. It's like he's overly devoted. In my youth, I, I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. You know, there must have been a reason it was banned, right? <laughs> <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do, huh? The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? Yeah, I would very much be in that mindset of what more could they do? So I understand. No matter what, you have to try. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> yeah. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My 
hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, oh thanks to this curse of immortality. Hmm. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Okay. Looks lovely. Mushroom. Never seen a mushroom of this kind before. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. May I have a few? Uh, I picked some before, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hmm. All right, then. So, synthesize the nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. So, I don't know why I did that. I was trying to press down, on, like, rather, like, down on the menu there. It's like, nope. So, craft. Earth and water, wind and fire. Craft for me what I desire. Yeah, oh, hold on, hold on. Right, so we've got enough. Can I do anything special with, like, these guys? Change it up? I get extra, extra ones. Like, there you go, I made loads. Oh, we can actually make a few of them. Yeah, I'll make one of them. Good, good. Can I make... Oh, I've already got five there now. Righto. There we go. I did it, mate. Is it done? Oh, splendid! Let me see! Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the band book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Yes, too many curses at the moment. Is it time to give... Cab Carabea, the medicine? No, no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Oh, that can't be easy for someone from Carnria. I understand your reluctance. Since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get Nahida to help? Forget it. I'd hate the gods. It could complicate things. I'll just do it his way. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Okay, go to nearby Statue of the Seven. Like, yep, there's one right down here. I mean, why am I... Oh. Why no, am I running and flying and floating and all that type of stuff? Like, well, because I can't get there else. Wise, else wise? Is that a word? I don't know. Is that bird again? Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom, look at me. I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home, wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom. I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. My son, Carabere, he was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no thing fate for a child <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conria bow their heads then I 
<laughs> bow to you now. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabair to see this world once more. Please, God! I beg of you. Triple dot. May not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Carnia have truly suffered. Why could Carnia and the Seven not coexist in peace? I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. I mean, that is the question. Why could they not? What was so bad that you unleashed that on them? Things will get better. <laughs> hmm. I mentioned the dose of medicine to the hilly churl. Oh, I can't use the map again. It's a good job these things are here. I'd be very, very upset. Let's put it like that. I have to climb up a wall like in the olden days? Oh! Oh! No, no, no. We wouldn't be wanting that. We wouldn't be wanting that, would we? No. Right. Will this work? Curry bear? Hilicho seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. Well, uh, we've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. With your help, I'd feed the newly made medicine. Kari Bear, it's me. It's your father. Kari Bear. Anything? Kari Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything! Please! Please! I... I don't like either option. But we will just, 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 just go with the... Stop. <laughs> oh, gods above! What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you! I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it! But you won't even let me die! <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just eluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. I mean... There might be other reasons it didn't work. Ah, uh, other reasons. What do you mean? That, that, such as, who knows, perhaps the dosage was too low, or, or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? I mean, you have to exhaust all options. Unless you are really ready to give up. Give up? No, no, n never. And y yes, you're right, I... I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for 50 years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. I'll keep helping you. To have infinite time yet no hope can only be called torture. <laughs> Let's go. We'll make another dose. <laughs> The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things complicated, but not impossible. 
where exactly did you get the mushroom from anyway? I grow them <laughs> in that field. In a field? Like a crop? The details don't matter, right? <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. <laughs> if you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. Fine. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. <laughs> I'll be here watching Kari Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Got it. Good. Then and please head over when the time comes. Time passes quickly before you know it. It's two in the afternoon. Does that mean I've done it? I mean, is it always two in the afternoon now? Is that is that how we're dealing with that? It's just, it's just always two? Because I can't get to the menu to change time at the moment. Which still to me raises the question of like, what exactly is going on here in terms of art? I had only... Time scale. Just, yeah. Like, did we time travel? Where's Paimon? What happened to Dane? What is going on? Okay. See, because now I need back up. Good, good. Ah! Got about that bit. I was like, yay, no. Let's get him back up. It's fine. It's fine. No All worked out in the end, didn't it? No time to lose. I'm going in. Maybe that'll heal him during it. Ah, oh, you're back. Uh, Cora Bear's condition is stable. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Anyway, give me the water. Why was it so time dependent? He watered the field. I need you to stand guard here for a, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Of course, your secret is safe with me. Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. You wait for a while? Monsters. And so many of them. Looks like they're coming for this field. Does watching the field somehow attract monsters? Hmm. Better fend them off. Okay. Looks like it did heal me a little bit, but that may have been what I healed. At the start of that scene before we became the traveler for a moment. No, that was it. What happened? Was it monsters? Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so let's get on with it. Okay, spread the fertilizer. Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. I mean, yeah. Let's pick them up. Boop, boom. Just the two. Just the two. I'm inside. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's crafty crafty. There we go, mate. Hmm. Uh, the medicine's ready. Hey! Stop daydreaming. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh... After resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. Watch out! Behind you! Mo oh, wait, nope. Nope. Not monsters. It's just a bag of carrots. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here 
in this field and never wake up again. But though the curse denies you even that, you still have Calibur. Oh, Cal Cal Calibur? I forgot his name. What was his name again, mate? <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now, for the final step. Back to the Statue of the Seven. Oh, joy. I was going to say, we're going to have to go, go there all over again, aren't we? Okay, it would be nice if I could have a teleport back game. But it is a case of, why do I not have my teleport back? Because Paimon isn't around? Where is Paimon? Where is Paimon? We're here. Let's begin. Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Kari Bear? I... He left the house? Oh no. He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. Come on. We have to catch up with him. Let's go, go, go in the next part. Because that's the end of that quest, so we'll be doing that in the next part. You'd think it would be straight away, but nope. That's the end of that quest. In the next cart. Cart. In the next cart. In the next part, we'll follow that Hilly Churl. Turn off and out.